The month of September is celebrated as World Blood Cancer Awareness Month. So let's take this opportunity to explain to the common public what exactly blood cancer is, its symptoms and how to be aware if one is suspected to be suffering from it. So the symptoms that one has to be aware of in case he feels he is suffering from blood cancer are extreme tiredness, unexplained weight loss, fever lasting for weeks or months, swellings in the body, unexplained bleeding or rashes in the skin. Patients may also have a lot of sweating, especially in the nights. So how do we go ahead? What do we do? So before this, we should know what exactly blood cancers are. Blood cancers are cancers that are seen in the blood cells or in the sites where the blood cells are manufactured in the body, like the bone marrow or the spleen or lymph nodes. Okay. So uh, what do we do? How do we go about it? So when you have symptoms like this, the simplest thing you can do is reach out to a doctor close by. They will do some simple blood tests and if there are any swellings or lymph node enlargement in the body, a testing of that will be done in the form of an excision biopsy or an FNAC to analyze how we shall go about it further. So let's spread this message and make sure we protect people from blood cancer. The common types of blood cancers that we come across are lymphomas, leukemias, myeloproliferative disorder syndromes and myelomas. These are the most common type that you may have heard of among the patients who have been diagnosed and are undergoing treatment for blood cancers. So once diagnosed, how do we treat these patients? We have a lot of options these days. We have options of giving chemotherapies, radiations, uh, immunotherapies based on which type of blood cancer the patient is suffering from. Unlike olden days, we have a lot of options, options that are safe. In general, it is feared that a chemotherapy or a radiation might weaken a person. But with the current day options of chemotherapeutic drugs and novel radiation techniques, patients are safe and they have been survivors of this cancer. So let's join hands, spread this awareness and help patients get diagnosed early and get treated on time, thereby improving their survival.